I'm here in Chicago for the Chicago Legends game, being honored as one of the four student athletes from the four schools that are participating in the game this year. It's always good to come back to Chicago, uh, growing up here in Chicago, uh, being close to Iowa City. Uh, Iowa City is like a second home to me. Uh, I've taken that drive so many times down Interstate 80, it's almost like engraved in my mind how to how to go there. Uh, but coming back to Chicago, it brings back such good memories of, of growing up and learning the game here, playing in different parts of the city, and taking that on to, to become a, a basketball player in college. So fans, let's give a big round of applause to Ronnie Lester. I always watch when, when I was on TV anywhere, uh, I always find uh, time to watch them play. Uh, I look at their team as um, a pretty young team. I think the key to their team is, is their shooting. Um, the game is such today that you need shooters on the floor, and I think Iowa has a number of guys who can shoot the basketball, so I think that bodes well for them. Good look at Lute Olsen. Coach Olsen was, uh, he was one of those guys that, uh, you know, he, he was pretty big. He had a big, uh, he was 6'5 or so. Uh, the white hair looked very statuesque. And I think he commanded respect because of, of how he looked. Um, playing for coach, I had a great time playing for coach because if you could play, he would let you play. Um, he told me when, when he recruited me, he says, uh, if you come to Iowa, you will get your degree, we will make sure you get your degree, and we will make you a better basketball player. And, and that holds true today. He and his staff made me a better player. Uh, I had fun, fun playing for coach. Uh, he was one of my, my role models, really. Uh, not so much as a coach, but I saw him off the court as a, as a husband, as a family man. Um, as a guy who treated people with respect and dignity. And he was one of my heroes in the fact that he was the type of, not only coach that he was, but the type of person that he was. For Iowa, a 6'2 senior from Chicago, number 12, Ronnie Lester. Those teams were, were special because of, of my teammates, uh, the guys you play with, the guys that sacrifice for you, the guys that you sacrifice for. And basketball is a wonderful game. It really is because it takes more than one guy. It takes a whole team. Uh, not only the guys that are out there playing, but guys who don't get to play as much, who are practicing all week, uh, guys that don't get their names mentioned, those guys who are preparing you to play every week. Uh, I, I thank God for my teammates. I just, I just love my teammates because you, couldn't, you can't do anything in basketball without your teammates. You know, winning always brought a, a smile to my face. It, it, was, it was tough to prepare all week um, for an opponent and, and lose a game. So winning always was the thing. We wanted to win games. We didn't want to play teams close. Uh, we wanted to win games. And Coach Olsen, I think, instilled that type of philosophy in us as a team the four years I was there. We prepared really, really hard for games. He prepared us hard. He was always organized. Um, and, and I think just looking back at my career at Iowa, uh, I'm most proud of how we, how we played and represented the University of Iowa. When you put on that Iowa jersey representing that whole state and millions of people across the state, I'm really proud of how we fought and competed uh, for, for Iowa and the people of Iowa. The Heartland is brought to you by Mediacom. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme. Feel the power of amazingly fast internet up to one gig. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. 
tonight in Evanston, Illinois. The Iowa Hawkeyes look to climb another rung up the Big Ten standings facing the Northwestern Wildcats at Welsh Ryan Arena. Both had impressive wins last time out. Good evening, everybody. I'm Gary Dolphin, as always, joined by former Hawkeye and NBA star Bobby Hansen. Here's Connor. Holds up high post left, skips it inside to Luca Garza, and you know what he can do. Minute and a half gone in the game. Here's Wieskamp left wing, a shot fake, drives it inside, throws it out to Garza on the wing, and he hits a three. Garza with a jump hook, scores again. He's got it on automatic. 10-9, Iowa back in front, and the teeter-totter has started. Looking inside, trying to find the big fella on the baseline. Now Connor will shoot a three. Good, he splashed it down. He sure has confidence in that shot now, doesn't he? 5.08 to go on the half. Hawks got to play through it. Frederick for three on the inbounds. Curls it in. We'll take it. Yeah, that's okay. Another lead change, though. Back out top for McCaffrey. Passed up the three. Bakari Evelyn will let fly from the corner. It's good. Shot that one with confidence. 16.35 to play in the game. Iowa hunting its first points of the second half. Here's a score off glass by Frederick. McCaffrey to Tucson. Baseline lob, Kreener out top. Connor's open. Long three is good. Outstanding ball movement. He has the 6'10", Jones on the switch. Kreener out front, rattles in a three. Brian Kreener, no hesitation in that look. Here's a pass inbounds to Kreener, and he dunks it. Kreener with a two-hand ram, and the Hawks lead at 51-44. Here's Garza scoring and fouled. How itchy do you think he was sitting on that bench for the last eight minutes? Bakari Evelyn had a solid first half to Pemsel. Inside to the big fella, Garza jump hook is good. Once he catches it that low, Katie can't bar the door. Takes a look inside, now sets a screen for Evelyn. To Garza, step back jumper, good again from 17 feet. Here comes Garza, here come the points. And now an and one for Garza running in traffic. Unbelievable, 70 or 64, 50 Iowa's lead has jettisoned to 14, thanks to Luca Garza. What a weapon the big man is. Just scored the first 10 of the game. At 14 straight after that. Here he is for three. Good again. This guy is on autopilot. 27 points. Uh, he is amazing here, second half. He's been amazing all year. Iowa Hawkeyes 75 62 on the road at Welsh Ryan Arena. Iowa continues to play well away from home. We're in the uh, warm, friendly confines of Carver Hawkeye Arena. It's wintry outside, but tonight we've got two of the Big Ten's best offenses, two of the top three to be exact. When Iowa and Michigan square off tonight at Carver Hawkeye Arena, both will be looking to leapfrog the other in the Big Ten standings. The Hawkeyes have won back-to-back -back games to reach 500 in conference play at 3-3. Three and three. Michigan is 2-3. and three. Now They're going straight up on Garza with Teske again. Luka drives inside, and they clear the lane out for him, and he hits the jump hook with the right hand. Yeah, that was easy right there. Wieskamp finally gets his hands on the ball. He's all gobbled up by Johns. Inside to Garza, double team, jump hook good. Curls it in. And they're letting him play, Bobby, early yeah. on. Evelyn to a post-up. Kreener inside, he jump hooks, scores over Teske. Hawks down three with the ball. Bakari Evelyn into the front court. Bounces inside to Garza. He muscles in on Teske with a drop step. Layup good. 16-15. Michigan seven point lead, slice to one. And Luka Garza now with nine points. He is four out of seven from the floor. Shot fake, now to uh, Kreener. Baseline to Pemsel. Kreener scores on the comeback, and he's fouled from behind by Davis. What a bounce pass by Pemsel. It's Wieskamp with a rebound. Hawks controlling the boards. Wieskamp for three, good! Timeout, Michigan. Yeah, you're gonna need a timeout now because the lid's about ready to come off Carver Hawkeye Arena here. Just like that, the Iowa lead is, well, it must have been a long two. 30 to 22, Iowa by eight. Wieskamp for three more, yes sir! Splash down. Keep feeding yeah. that horse. Let yeah, me that, give him the basketball. Yeah. I'm trying to make my notes here. Michigan back to within seven, 33-26. Hawks try to counter, Garza does so. Hawks 35, Wolverines 29. Wieskamp's had the hot hand, drives inside. Hook pass to Garza, shot up, good! And a free throw coming. Iowa's 11 point lead whittled to three. Here's Evelyn, they can't find a shot. He drives inside to Kreener. To Frederick, his three, he needed that, and so did the Hawkeyes. Down it goes. All tied at 47. 
Here's Toussaint, driving all the way to the basket, gets the layup to go. And Wieskamp with the rebound. He goes coast to coast, he scores off glass. Here's Wieskamp on the inbounds. Holds up, throws back, top of the circle of CJ. He drives inside, he scores. CJ puts the ball on the floor, drives inside, hits the runner. Oh, is he a clutch moment shooter? Well, that is just a pretty shot right there. And took what the defense gave him. Here's CJ for three in transition, that's good. Who is that big? 72-68, Michigan by four. Now to Garza. Luca hands off to Frederick. To Luca, he'll lob up a three. Iowa needs it, got it. He clutch or what? Oh, I'm telling you, big time shot. Luca Garza, 27 points. CJ can't pull the trigger. Bounce pass, high post left for Garza. Step back jumper, good. What a silky touch he has. CJ bounces for Connor. McCaffrey back to CJ, a three for the lead. Yeah. Timeout, Wolverine. How about that? Now to Frederick, back to Ryan. Greener, inside it goes to Garza. Spin move to the basket, gone. Off the glass and good. Garza with 31. Wieskamp, they need him to get going. Here's a great pass by Joe on a backdoor cut by Frederick, and he lays it up and in. 83-79. Here's McCaffrey. A bounce baseline right. Garza step back. Jumper is good. And the Iowa Bigs are putting a stranglehold on this game. 85-79. Iowa wins it 90-83 over the Michigan Wolverines. Good Saturday evening. Welcome into Carver Hawkeye Arena. Feels like it's been forever since we've said that. Uh, we're going to see a lot of uh, headbands around uh, 3,000 fans and a lot of other people getting the Sorensen Strong headbands. Great opportunity to show some support for a former Hawkeye, current Hawkeye Wrestling Club member. And he's in a dogfight. He's in a tussle. But you know what? He's scrapping just like he was uh, becoming a four-time All-American uh, with his battle against leukemia. There, Spencer hits a sweep, steps over the ankle, trying to limp arm out of the wizard, adjusting up the arm, stands up, now cuts across to that far side, driving through, steps on the inside, and gets the two. Trying to get that wrist lock, rock, locked, and he does. Now he's got him over in his tilt. Tilting him over, he's got his four near fall. So just scoring points the whole match as hard as you can, fast as you can, you know. We score hard, score fast, score a lot. You know, that's kind of what we say a lot. There's the tech, though. First period tech again by Spencer Lee. Now, I'm not disappointed. Don't put words in my mouth. Let me do the talking. I got the mic here. Don't put words in my mouth. I'm not disappointed. This is January 18th. We're going to March 20th or 21st or whatever the date is. We're building. We're working. When I walk off that mat, there's a lot going through my mind. And the things that are going through my mind, you might think I was goofy. We got to get better. It, it was too many close matches. Come on, Caleb. Two things in your manners in your own there head. There he does. Nice shot right, right there. Shot. Still looking drive to drive through, through. Drive through that, Young. Drive through that, Young. He's got that is two takedowns. That is two. There is the two for Caleb My Young. goodness. Alex Marinelli making his way out from the tunnel. He'll be taking on Isaiah White, number five in the country, 12 and one record. Two to one in favor of White, but Marinelli does have two, five time. Two takedowns! Beautiful shot. That time he came across the post. Marinelli popped it, went in for a high cut, switched off to a double, cut the corner. Beautifully quick takedown right there. 174, Michael Kimmerer for the Hawkeyes. Close to a takedown here. We got to break the grip. There it Coming is. Out. Two takedowns. Nope. That was two give two. There it is. Ride him out, ride him out, ride him out. Abe Assad will make his Carver Hawkeye debut. Big opportunity for Abe right here, Mark. Just as a true freshman, getting the red shirt pulled, and now you got a top five guy. Drive in, hip in, to go. hip in, hip in. Still no control yet. There he hooks it for the two. Abe Assad gives himself a six to three lead. At first, it's kind of hard to just like wrap your head around, like, you know, like, how big it actually is, you know, when you walk out there and there's no one no one out there is a huge difference than when you see, you know, what was it, 12,000 people today standing up cheering. You gotta, you know, just take it step by step and just, uh, like, you know, cherish the moment. 
The Heartland is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Avoid breakdowns in coverage with U.S. Cellular. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Hy-Vee proudly supports the Iowa Hawkeyes. Yeah, we just had to stay together on the road, and that's going to happen occasionally. And we just kept fighting the whole game. We stayed together, stayed composed, and just stuck together, honestly. That's the best thing I can describe it with, is that we played hard and got it done at the end. You know, this team just keeps believing we find a way somehow. And I'm just so happy for Monica to come back here to her home state as a sophomore, go 10 for 11 from the field. Um, just, I mean, outstanding for her. I'm really happy for Monica. Mm -hmm. Um, McKenna again, you know, comes off the bench and gives us so many, so much offense. Mm -hmm. So that's tremendous. Um, I mean, just the first half was kind of rough for us, like turnovers wise. But I think within the fourth quarter, we really pulled together as a team and uh, found a way to get the win. We hit some big threes. Right. I mean, McKenzie hits a three. Uh, obviously, Lexi's three was huge. drive and kick it to me in the corner and I was open for a little bit. I know that we needed something to happen so I let the shot go and ended up going in. So. You guys, you show resilience out there. You're down 15 points. 15 points. That's resilience. Alright? I'm proud of you. Two years in a row. We're down eight and a half time. Two years in a row. We come to Minnesota and win. Hawkeye Prime. One, two, three. Hawkeye Prime! I mean, I really believe we did a good job getting to the free throw line, too. I mean, we scored, shoot, 22 free throws. They shoot 11. Right. Um, and I think, you know, like Kathleen, man, she just drives the hole so hard and under mm -hmm. such great control. Um, and so getting the free throw line is huge. Um, but I just third quarter, I mean, it was a total shift. In the first uh -huh. half, nothing was going our way. You know, defensively, rebounding, mm -hmm. foul trouble, not shooting the ball as well as we're capable of. Third quarter comes out. Wham, and just did totally you, different. Did you I think having Monica on the floor, uh -huh. you know, was just a, a huge part of that. Um, and then I think, you know, our defense just picked up, and when our shots started falling and our defense had picked up, it was just a complete shift of momentum. Uh -huh. Well, we just kind of came out with pretty flat and weren't playing very good defense. I think we gave up 30 points in the first quarter, so just got off to a rough start defensively, but then came out in the third quarter. I think they only scored 11 points. We outscored them by 16, so it just th it shows our grit and um, how hard we battled back. So our, our defense got so much better in that second half and we really locked in. Uh, like I said, we need to do that earlier, but I'm just really proud of the way that we just stayed in the game and did our thing and got stops defensively. Yeah, we have a ton of confidence in ourselves and after halftime we were feeling pretty down and um, we have such great teammates. We're lifting each other up. Our coaches are lifting each other up and we have so much confidence and um, I really felt very confident the whole game that we were going to win even when we were down 15 points is it kind of showcases just our grit and resiliency as a team. Um, obviously, we need to put ourselves in better positions going forward, but we're going to take the wins, especially on the road. Yeah, anytime you get a, a win in the Big Ten, you're definitely happy. So we're definitely we're definitely not complacent. We're going to keep working and get getting better every single day, and we want to win that Big Ten championship, so it's going to take a lot more work. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team by raising money for every free throw made by the Hawks all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds will benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches versus Cancer program right here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. 